I'm Desi, and I'm a level one chef. I'm Emily, and I'm a level two chef. I'm Aisha, and I've been a professional chef for 16 years. Of all the wing types you can eat, boneless are my favorite. They're moist, they're like a wing, but they don't have the bone, so they're easier to eat. The best part about it is it's like a meaty piece of gum, extended chewing. If I have to have a boneless wing, then it better be stuffed. They have to be marinated, crispy, and have a delicious dipping sauce. Today I'm making honey barbecue boneless wings. I'm gonna have some of uh, my ranch, mix in a little carrots, and we're gonna have a sweet, quick meal. The boneless wings I'm gonna be making today are sort of a Korean style fried chicken called duck gong jung. I got this recipe from a Korean chef. It's slightly adjusted from their version to be boneless wings. So my boneless chicken wings aren't easy, but they are definitely a labor of love. You have to get the bones out, then we're gonna marinate it, stuff it with sausage, roast it in the oven, and serve it with a delicious sauce. I'm using Purdue popcorn chicken. It's cheap and you get more bang for your buck. It's easier than summer school. I wouldn't call it a boneless wing, but I like it. I have here, boneless skinless chicken thighs. A more forgiving moist meat than like just a chicken breast, so it's gonna make a, a more sort of wing-like experience. Boneless skinless chicken thighs are cool, but without the skin, where are we gonna get the crunch? So I'm just going to cut my thighs down into smaller sort of wing-sized, bite-sized pieces. Let's get to it. As a chef, when people come over my house, they're looking for me to step it up. So I'm gonna start with the flat, which is the flat part of the wing. We're gonna insert our boning knife around the two bones so we can loosen up the ligaments. And then we're gonna follow the knife all the way down until we loosen up basically the joint and pop those bones out. And then what you do is invert it and we have our chicken wing ready to be stuffed. So now we have a drumette and this is a little bit easier. What you do with this one is you take the tip of your boning knife and you just go around the main bone in the middle. And you just wanna rotate the wing so that you can cut the ligaments off the side of this. So once it's cut, what you wanna do is pull the meat back and the bone pops right out. And then you would just flip this inside out and that's a boneless drumette ready to be stuffed. Was that hard? And now it's time to make the stuffing for my wings. Today we're gonna to be making chicken sausage. Any good recipe starts with onions and garlic. We're gonna microplane the garlic directly in the bowl that we're gonna be mixing everything in. Onion brings beautiful moisture, which is gonna allow the stuffing to stay nice and moist as we roast it. What I love about red onions is they bring a sweetness and texture to a dish. Our next ingredient is spinach. And we're gonna chiffonade it. The term chiffonade are kind of like ribbons of anything that you're cutting. Here we have halloumi. Halloumi is a pasteurized cheese. So as mozzarella is the king of Italian cuisine, halloumi is the queen of Mediterranean cuisine. We're gonna put in our chicken. I love to use harissa. It's full of different types of spices. It's not only spicy, but really flavorful. And my favorite condiment always, olive oil. And we're gonna season this with some salt. So our stuffing is ready and we're ready to stuff. <laughs> That's too much work. What I'm going to do is take the stuffing and put it in a pastry bag. So I'm gonna take this wing and I'm gonna insert the toothpick here, have it come around and push it out of the other side. And then we're gonna continue with the process and make sure that the wing is closed on one side so that the filling doesn't pop out. So I'm gonna take this drumette, stick my thumb inside so that I can form a pocket. I'm gonna take my pastry bag and kind of press firmly and pull outward. We're gonna continue doing that and then I'll seal them up. I don't know how to do that yet, but maybe with another 50 of these videos, I'll get there. <laughs> now I'm going to take another toothpick and just seal off the other side. We're gonna bake these in the oven and the filling should really stay in there at that point. All right, it's time to add some flavor. First, I'm gonna do the dry rub, then I'm gonna add some sauce. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder, some black pepper. The sauce that we're making is kind of like a sticky, sweet, and spicy sauce. So flavoring my wings is gonna be a two-part process. First, we're gonna make a marinade, and secondly, we're gonna be making a glaze. So the first part is gonna be making the sweet and salty marinade, which with all of these flavors is gonna be delicious. And we're gonna do dark brown sugar, ground cumin, some dried chili, some delicious smoked paprika. paprika. This is a dash of cayenne. This is very spicy. Dash at your own risk. I'm gonna start with my oil and garlic, then my chilies. I'm just gonna let these sizzle together for about 30 seconds and then move on to the next thing. Now that I'm a level two, do I get to go into the special lounge or do I have to continue sitting in the level one cave? <laughs> this is gochujang, which is like a Korean chili paste. This is white vinegar. Sumac is used in a lot of Middle Eastern cooking. It's basically the inside of a flour that has really high citrus notes. We need about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna introduce them to each other before I add it to your bowl of chicken. Sound like jingle bells, huh? Of olive oil, Dijon mustard. We can use the same amount of soy, soy sauce. sauce. Stir that up a little, then I'll add my corn syrup, bring it almost to a boil, then add my brown sugar. Adds like a little bit of depth of flavor, so I'm going to take it off the heat so it doesn't become too thick. My sauce is looking good. For some heat, you can use a tablespoon of any hot sauce of your 
liking. Two cloves of finely minced garlic. It already smells so good in here. It's time to get this marinade on those wings. And we're gonna gently brush these with an ample amount of marinade. So we're gonna take these wings, marinate them for the minimum of four hours, but hopefully overnight if you have time, and leave them uncovered. For the next part of my flavor, honey barbecue sauce. Personally, I'm not a big fan of barbecue, but I'm not gonna yuck your yum. Honey barbecue is the best because it's half sweet, half tangy. And they just give you that mm. As soon as it touches your tongue, you just close your eyes and mm. I'm gonna add a cup of barbecue sauce. Mm, it even smell good. They should make barbecue sauce cologne. Add a little honey and another dash of cayenne pepper. You wanna make sure it's a smooth stir. You want the stickiness to go away because there's some honey involved. Whew, look at that. I think you're ready to throw this on our wings. It looks delicious. So now I'm gonna make a sauce that the wings are gonna get tossed in when they come out of the oven. So I'm gonna take these ingredients, we're gonna mince the garlic. I'll add a little bit of salt here because it helps with the friction to make a little bit of a garlic paste. We're gonna probably use half of the serrano so it's not overly spicy. We're gonna slice up some scallions, add some sumac, some salt, olive oil. We're gonna take the juice of the lemon. I'm looking to finish the wings with something really bright, herby, and acidic. And in the end, these two flavor combinations are going to complement each other very nicely. And we're ready to go. Now it's time for our dipping sauce. Might be the hardest part of the meal. Watch carefully and go slow. That's a masterpiece right there. Yeah. No one's making blue cheese? I mean, come on. You don't go blue cheese with honey barbecue sauce. Ranch. I'm team blue cheese if it's a buffalo wing, but that's not the point. I like ranch. Ranch is great, go for it. For my dipping sauce, I'm just making mayo with a little extra flavoring in it. Basically, I've got sesame oil, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. I'm gonna be making a white harissa sauce so that we can cool down the spicy flavors we put on the wings. Chili flake, garlic powder, and onion powder. A little bit of salt, about the same amount of black pepper. And after that is when I'll add the wet ingredients. We have one garlic clove here, lemon juice, some mayonnaise, Kewpie mayo, which everyone knows is the best mayo, sesame oil, soy sauce, and some white vinegar. From fresh, good yogurt, sherry vinegar. I developed the recipe for this sauce because I wanted to mimic the white sauce that you get off of the halal trucks in the street. All right, my dipping sauce is ready for my wings. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. It's ready to go. This is gonna go great with our wings. I ain't too crazy about this side stuff, but it makes you appreciate the wings more. You want your plate to look healthy. Open up the baby carrots, put in a little dish, and cut up your celery so your plate can look wonderful for decorations. It's like a Christmas tree. All right, here are my sides. The carrots that Buzz Bunny never ate, and these celery sticks I can't wait to throw in the garbage. On the side of my wings, I'm going to make some quick pickled radishes. Radishes? Who ever put radishes on chicken? They go well together because it adds a nice counterpoint to the sweet, salty, spicy, crunchy chicken. This gives you a little fresh, crispy, and sour. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a little brining liquid kind of thing, and then I'm gonna pour that on top of here. So for my side, I'm gonna be pickling turnips, kohlrabi, and green beans. And I'm gonna throw a serrano chili in there, and I'm just gonna slice it in half. I'm gonna leave the seeds in. Turnip and kohlrabi are really good vegetables to impart flavor on. Their texture is there, which means that they're really crunchy at all times, but they really have mild flavor. So whatever flavorings that you're gonna put in your pickle, is what it's gonna take on. And next up, the pickling liquid. Pickling liquid is a balance between sweet and savory with salt and sugar and a bunch of herbs and spices as you choose. And I just dry toasting the coriander, cinnamon stick, bay leaf, and a star anise to get the oils released and the spices. So the minute mm, that they get a little fragrant, I'll add in my water, water apple cider vinegar, vinegar, and lemon juice. We have some sugar, sugar, heavy pinch of salt, salt, and a little bit of black pepper. The purpose of these pickles is that crunch and the texture that it's gonna to bring to this dish. So our pickling liquid has come to a boil and we're gonna pour it right over top of the pickles. So we're gonna take these pickles, throw them in the refrigerator for a few hours, but overnight is best. All right, so we're gonna cook my wings. You gotta worry about it being too high, too low. That's why I love the air fryer. I'm just gonna open this and dump my chicken in there, <laughs> leave it for 10, 15 minutes, go play some basketball, come back. And while the other chefs out there just doing too much. I'll be back. I'm going to be frying my boneless wings, but before I do that, I'm gonna give them a little cornstarch coating. Put my ginger in here, salt and pepper. Cornstarch, a chill runs down my spine when I touch cornstarch. Okay, my wings are prepped and ready to fry. Oh man, oh, look at that, they done. Now I'm gonna dump them, now it's time to add the sauce. Add a little drippy drop, toss it. Ooh, it smell good. So they're done marinating. I'm gonna put them on a little rack and get them in the oven. So I'm putting these wings on a raised rack to ensure that they cook evenly. These wings are gonna go into a preheated oven at 450 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've got my vegetable oil heated up and ready for my chicken. So I'm gonna deep fry these for like eight to 10 minutes roughly or until they hit 165 on the inside because safety. All right, my chicken is done and ready to be pulled out. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, I'm very excited to eat this chicken. 
All right, so the next thing I need to do is reheat my sauce and then I'm going to toss in some peanuts that I have here and my chicken. And then just mix it all together and we're on our way to chicken town. Okay, so our wings are out of the oven. How gorgeous do they look? Can you see these crispy bites and how that skin really crisped up? So in this bowl, we have our flavor bomb too. And we're gonna take these toothpicks out of the chicken wings and toss them in that sauce, making sure that each of the wings is coated with the sauce. All right, chicken is sauced and I'm ready to plate. It's time to plate. I'm gonna start with this exciting celery. I'm gonna add the baby carrots. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like them, I just, I tolerate them. It's like that cousin I stay at your house for the weekend. You don't get along with him, but he the one with the PS5. I'm gonna put the sauce on here. Our boneless wings piled sky high. No man left behind. White harissa, and then a good mound of the delicious pickles that we made. The chicken is the star. The radish is its best friend. It's entourage, if you will. And scallions. Little fresh cilantro, my favorite herb of all time. Looks extravagant. I might need to frame this, put this on a t-shirt. And here are my boneless wings. And these are my Korean style boneless wings with quick pickled radish and sesame mayo. And these are my stuffed boneless chicken wings with white harissa and pickled vegetables. Looks good, right? I mean, I've got my eye on this crispy guy right here. I can't wait to drag it through the sauce and then get a crispy bite of those pickles. Two dips. Hello. Oh, sorry, that was French, bro. When it sounds like this, that means the food is good. It's hitting on all cylinders. It's like a symphony of tastiness. And the best part, there are no bones. My favorite part of the dish is that lingering flavor that you get in your mouth. You can taste all of the herbs and the spices, and what it makes you do is want to go back for more. You need a beer too, that, that would really help. Boneless chicken wings are a fabulous snack. They come in many forms and don't even have to be a chicken wing. Let's see how each of our chefs made theirs. Desi used frozen popcorn chicken. This is processed white meat that is seasoned, fried, and then flash frozen or quick chilled. This means that the food is brought to below freezing temperatures very quickly so that large ice crystals don't form and the texture of the food remains intact. Our level two chef, Emily, Congratulations, Emily, used chicken thighs. These are considered dark meat, which means they're higher in fat and the pigment myoglobin. Because the thigh muscles are well used by the chicken, they need more myoglobin to deliver oxygen and iron to the muscles for locomotion, which gives the meat a darker color. Aisha stuffed her deboned wings with ground chicken and halloumi cheese. Halloumi is a brined, semi-hard cheese that's made from sheep's milk or a combination of sheep and goat's milk. It's aged for at least 40 days, holds its shape well, and crumbles instead of melts. This is because its protein structure is compact and tightly bonded into round clusters. For cheese to melt, proteins must be more linear and parallel than crumbling cheeses. Desi added his own seasoning blend before cooking his popcorn chicken in an air fryer. Air fryers use high velocity convection currents in a small enclosed area that both cooks and dehydrates the outer layer, imparting a crispiness that's similar to frying in oil. Emily dried, seasoned, and coated her chicken in cornstarch, which gave a crispy outer layer when she fried her chicken in hot vegetable oil. When the chicken comes in contact with the hot oil, small bubbles of water rapidly appear as they escape from the meat. The ester links so the fatty acids in the oil are broken with heat and produce smaller fatty acids, which impart flavors associated with fried foods. Desi used traditional ranch dressing, a thick, salted, heavily herbed dressing with a buttermilk base. Ranch dressing was first made and sold by Gail and Steve Henson on their Hidden Valley Ranch near Santa Barbara, California. It was so popular with their crew and guests that they started to produce, bottle, and sell it commercially. Emily kept it simple with Kewpie mayonnaise on the side. Kewpie is a Japanese mayo that's super smooth and made with just the egg yolks, not the whole egg as you would find in mayonnaise in the United States. Egg Egg yolks contain fatty acids, lecithin, phospholipids, and phosphatidylcholine that have emulsification properties, which is why QB is so smooth. When you include the egg whites, you add water and lots of proteins that aren't quite as smooth as using just the yolks. Boneless wings are so versatile that you can use any part of the chicken. Next time you're making them for a big party or just as a solo snack, we hope you'll take some of these fabulous tips from our three incredible chefs. Oh! <laughs>
thanks guys. <laughs> I'm just glad to be a part of this whole situation. <laughs> Diploma of graduation. <laughs> Level two. <laughs>